Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today I'm going to be going over QuickBooks. I'm going to be showing how you can connect QuickBooks and sync all of your information with your Shopify store. I'm going to be going over some of the benefits with QuickBooks and if you are a business owner, whether you have Shopify or not, I think this is going to be a really informative video for you, especially if you um, are needing something to keep you a little bit more organized for tax time. Um, I made a video a few, I think last year, around tax time last year, going over the benefits of QuickBooks. And so if you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. Um, if you do hear any heavy breathing through the video, I apologize. I am walking. I'm trying to be on my fitness journey as well. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. Um, so yeah. So right now, I'm going to be talking about QuickBooks. So QuickBooks is an application that can help you um, keep all of your information in one spot. Not just all of your information in one spot, but it can help you keep good records. Um, it helps you import your customers. You can keep track of your um, losses. You can also keep track of your inventory. Um, so it's just an overall good app. The, one of the reasons that I love Shopify is because it has so many different features and different apps available for its users to make the lives of business owners or sellers so much more simplistic. So the first thing that you want to do if you have a Shopify account is log in and go to the App Store. So once you get to the App Store, um, you can go ahead and search for different apps. Now you want to type in QuickBooks. And as you can see here, a few different options pop up. So we're not gonna go to the QuickBooks Online or the QuickBooks Bridge. And we're gonna scroll down a little bit to QuickBooks uh, Sync by Bold. I'm actually gonna scroll down just a little bit further so you can kind of see some of the other options. So I was just showing you how to download it. I already have it downloaded on my store. So here you can kind of see some of the apps that I currently have. Now, if you already have a QuickBooks account, you can just use the plan that you currently have. Um, they have a few different plans. They do have a free plan. The thing with the free plan is that it only um, imports 30 orders. So if you have more than 30 orders, uh, this plan is not gonna be the best fit for you. They also have a starter plan, which is $19.99 per month. That lets you import over 200 orders. And then they have a growth plan, which is $39.99 per month. And that's 500 orders. And they also have an enterprise plan, which is unlimited. So you go ahead and choose the plan that's right for you, depending on the volume of your business. I believe that you can toggle between the plans. Um, but if you've been in business for some time, then sometimes you can be wrong. But a lot of times you can kind of guesstimate, um, you know, how many orders you anticipate having that month. So go ahead and find a plan that's right for you if you haven't already. I'm telling you, this is going to make your life so much easier. Um, before I downloaded the app and had everything synced together, I had my PayPal synced with QuickBooks so that everything can be synced that way. And then I also put in orders manually. So with uh, this application, I can still have PayPal linked um, and I can also have everything through my Shopify store linked as well. So say I decide to change my payment preference to maybe Shopify payments, for example. All of those orders and payments are going to be recorded through my store as well. Now I know some people are wondering, you know, hey, why is it important to track your expenses? You know, you may be new in business, you may be wanting to go into business for yourself, and you may just wanna know, you know, hey, what is the deal with QuickBooks? Well, when it comes time to file your taxes, and not even file taxes, but even when you're applying for a loan, it makes things so much more simpler if you have 
one place or one application to go to actually see your gross and your net income. And that's what QuickBooks does. It also has different features where you can take pictures of your receipts and kind of track um, your expenses that way as well. But I can tell you as a business owner, nothing is more frustrating <laughs> or there are some things that are, um, well, I can say some things that are more frustrating, but I definitely can tell you from my experience that it can be frustrating and overwhelming if you have not used any application to keep all of your orders in one spot so that when tax time rolls around, you're sitting there, you know, wrestling through all these receipts and you're wrestling through all these files where you can just, you know, kind of have everything in one spot. Now, Shopify really does a good job already of keeping the orders in one spot. But QuickBooks, in my opinion, it's, it's a better application. I mean, I don't want to say it's a better application. They're two different um, systems, but... I think that having both of them, at least it helps me work more efficiently. So you can choose the dates here, uh, the dates that you wanna import your orders. So you can go all the way back to January 1st of this year up until today's date if you'd like. To sync all of your orders over, if you haven't done that already, depending on your internet browser, it can take a few moments. It's not gonna take overnight or anything like that. It just takes a few minutes. I'm showing right here some of the things that QuickBooks does. So it can track your retail sales, it can track your bills, track your sales taxes. Um, also, it can track what you're paying your employees. So I'm showing you some other options that QuickBooks has as well. So here you can keep track of your customers. This is really uh, great for me. Now on Shopify, you do still have the ability to download that app and to see all of your customers and pull up their orders and things like that. Um, and you can also track your inventory. So you can kind of track your vendors in a way, but QuickBook does. Now my uh, opinion and, and in my experience, I find it easy um, because I recently just transferred all of my customers over um, to QuickBooks as well. And it's just easy. It's an easier way for me to um, go in, download files, and save them on my computer. I think having a backup is very important in anything that you do. So I wouldn't rely on just one application. Um, Shopify is very, very reliable. However, like I said, I believe in having a backup um, process. I believe in having workarounds. So QuickBooks is kind of that backup for me. Um, like I've mentioned before, I only use PayPal the majority of the time, and so I could get away with just using Shopify. I could. But um, like I said, I want something as a backup. So if you are looking for something as a backup, I recommend that you check out QuickBooks before you download it. Make sure that you're reviewing the terms and conditions. Um, it has a lot of good features and um, a lot of good you know, options. Depending on the size of your business, you can even download it for free. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.